Are you guys ready to build the Tamiya Grasshopper 2? Yes. Are you excited about it? Yes. You look very excited. Yes. Hey, this is Greg with rcdriver.com, and if you found this video, you probably did a little bit of research and you're looking for your first radio control model kit. Well, you're in luck. You found the right video. This is the Tamiya Grasshopper 2, and this is a full build-up model kit. You get the body, you get the chassis, the suspension, the wheels, and the tires, and you have to buy the radio system, uh, perhaps a servo, battery, and a charger separately to complete this model kit right here. Then you sit down on your workbench or your kitchen table, and you get to build it up. What was really cool about this kit right here is I built this with my twin boys. We had an absolute blast doing it. It was a great family experience, and when we were done at the end, you should have seen their faces when they had this kit sitting there right on the table. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the fun we had along the way. I'm gonna show you this buggy in action, and I'm gonna show you how much fun you could have with the Tamiya Grasshopper 2 as your first model kit. This is Jacob, this is Logan, and this is gonna be their second kit build. Another Tamiya car. They built a Tamiya dump truck before, right? Remember the dump truck? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You had fun with that? Yes. Yeah. You ready to do it again? Yes. Yeah. This is the radio system, right? Yeah. This is the radio. Do you remember how to use this? Yes. Yeah. And then we're also gonna need, what's this? A battery. Battery. Good job. What's this? Uh, oh. This is the servo. This makes it steer, remember? Yeah. But... Oh yeah, I remember. We're also gonna need some tools, um, right? We're gonna need a screwdriver, pliers. Remember the cutters? Yep. These are sharp, right? So let's take a look inside the kit. And this is how a kit comes. Remember this, Mr. Lounge? Yes. All right, so we've got a speed controller. We've got a chassis here. We've got rims, wheels, and a bunch of parts. See all these parts here? Yes. Yep. There's the body, put that over there. We've got decals. Are you guys gonna put the stickers on? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We got the instruction manual, very important. We're gonna need that. And this is the box of hardware. All right, so let's see what's in the hardware box. We've got, there's the guy, right? The driver, he's very excited about the driver. And we got some gears. Because he's an old man. Yeah, a front bumper. Maybe these parts. Yeah. <laughs> Those parts, that's the motor, right? All right, let's get our instructions out. Who likes instructions? Me! I don't really. You don't really like instructions? No. What are you, some sort of Lego Just master Mr. builder, you don't do instructions? Nope. Nope. Okay, so we've got step one. Who wants to do step one? I don't. Me. You do? Hey. All right, we gotta find bag A. I'm building you're that. Gonna, you're gonna build that? You're gonna build step one? Yeah. All right, so how about we just go back and forth between steps? You do step one, he does step two, and we'll both keep going like that, okay? Gears. Yeah. Step one is to charge the battery, actually. Battery we'll do that some other time. We're gonna get right to the building, right? All right, so we need gears. Here's the gears. These are the axle shafts. We need some bushings. Transmission cases. What are you doing? You should, be, you should be watching because you want to see how to build every little piece, right? So you know how to repair it if you ever need to repair it. Never open a bag with your teeth. He yells at me every time I use my teeth to open a bag. You're doing good. Follow the directions, you remember, huh? All right, so we need this case too, right? Now you can put that on. Yep. Put it on, the, no, in this shaft here. Do we wake you up? Yeah. Pushing, pushing. Pushing. Was he? Put the pushing on. All the way. Nice. So we just finished building our transmission, right? Did a good job. We are getting close to the finish, right? Mm -hmm. So you guys are gonna put on the rest of these decals here. You think your little fingers could put on these little stickers? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. So you, all right, EG, you could do a 56. You know where the 56 goes? Where does this show on the instructions? We had a great time building the Tamiya Grasshopper 2. My kids, they did a lot of the work. Uh, there was a few areas where you know I needed to help them with some screws and some springs and stuff like that. But they were really happy that they got to do a lot of the work. And I was pretty happy I got to teach them a lot of the stuff along the way. So actually when we were done, what we did was we used this as their science fair project and we brought it over to their school and a bunch of their friends were checking it out. My kids were just standing there like, yeah, I built that. 
you know, so it was, it was pretty funny. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go bring this over to the workbench because I want to show you guys what's under the hood uh, since I didn't do a lot of close-ups during the build on that. So I'm just going to show you uh, the different parts of it, tell you about it really quick. Then we're going to see it in action and then we'll wrap this video up. The Grasshopper 2 is an entry-level RC car, so its features are kind of basic. Let's go over those right now. So this is a hard ABS plastic body and it comes molded in white so you don't have to paint it. And to me, it does provide these decals here, which look really cool. Uh, you do have to cut them out from the decal sheet. And then to me, it's, to me as instructions, they tell you where to apply them. All right, so starting off at the front here, we have this large plastic front bumper. Uh, and this does a great job to help protect the chassis. It takes a lot of the shock when hitting something. And it's got these extensions here that help protect the front wheels. All right, moving in board here, as you can see, we have a single suspension arm. Uh, on either side. There's no upper link. It's just a solid swing arm here and it has a uh, steering knuckles with a single rod going to a servo saver on the servo here. So this chassis is all one piece so the shock towers are molded in and uh, as you can see for the front shocks it's just the single spring. There's no oil in these shocks. It's just a friction type damper. All right let's move around to the back here and as you can see we have a solid axle rear end this is a 380 size motor and then we have some really wide cut gears inside and a gear differential um, so it does have some neat features to it the shocks are spring uh, friction spring shocks just like the front uh, and it does have a internal pivot here with some additional springs so this this suspension just moves around uh, when you're going over some obstacles and stuff like that all right, now for the bottom of the chassis here, this is where the uh, the battery door is. And you remove these two clips here and you can pop the battery out from the bottom. And as you can see, this is a, a one piece molded chassis uh, up top here. This TBLE02S, uh, it's, which stands for Censored Speed Controller, does come with the kit. So this is a pretty cool feature to see here. It's a nice little speed controller. It runs both brush motors and brushless motors. So if you ever wanted to upgrade, um, you have the option there. And then if you ever did take all the electronics out of this car and move it to another car, it's a neat little speed controller to have. So that's kind of uh, uh, worth it right there to buy this kit. Now, let me show you this machine in action. Well, that wraps up our time with the Tamiya Grasshopper 2, and I have to say, we had a lot of fun with this kit. My boys really enjoyed the build. They love showing it off to their friends at their science fair, and then they love driving in the backyard. They keep talking about it. It was a lot of fun. It was another great kit from Tamiya in our experience. Now, what do I think about the buggy overall? Again, it's a fun build. It's easy to put together. It kind of teaches you all the different components that are in an RC car, so it does its job there. It delivers on the fun outside. On the other hand, it's a little slow. Uh, it's got a small motor in it, you know, so you just got to kind of factor that in. If you think you're really going to get into RC, you might outgrow it sooner rather than later. If you've got to run RC occasionally and you just want the one car, this will probably last you over a year. Uh, what's really nice about it is you bought all the electronics, 
So you could take all those electronics out and put it into another Tamiya car to experience another type of Tamiya car or put it in any other RC car for that matter. So it's a lot of fun. If you're looking for your first RC kit, the Tamiya Grasshopper 2 might just be that fun kit you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Grasshopper 2. If you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button and the notifications button so you don't miss any of our upcoming reviews. And if you have a question, of course, throw it in the comment section below.